I just found a really cool new coding framework that is going to enable AI agents to write and fix code for you. This is where I would like to introduce micro agent. You simply just utilize the micro agent command, give it a prompt, and it will generate a test and then iterate on the code until all tests pass it. Now, why? Well, large language models are great at giving you broken code, and it can take you multiple different times of iteration to get the right code to work as expected. So why do this manually when AI can handle not just the generation, but also the iteration and the fixing? Why also use a microagent? Well, this is all because AI agents are cool, but the general purpose of coding agents rarely work as hoped or promised. And they tend to go haywire when there's different types of compounding errors that tend to rise. Think of your Roomba that's getting stuck under a table. This is where the idea of microagent is utilized, where it's going to be used to create a definitive test. And this is where they are going to give you a clear feedback if the code works as intended or not. Now, it will also focus on iterating on the code until all the test cases are passed. Let's take a look at a demo video. We first start off by starting the micro agent framework where you just simply type in that command. And then we're going to first start off by deploying the agent for automatic code writing and repair. This framework first asks you what you would like to do. And in this demo, it first started off by starting off by stating what it wants to actually focus on, which was a function that converts a markdown to a single line of HTML. And from there, it will start iterating on the query that was sent. And we can see at the end, which we just saw recently, that all the tests were passed within VS Code. And this is basically the capability of MicroAgent. It's something that will focus on code generation, on repairing the code, debugging, iterating it even further, and utilizing these different multi-agent that can work on different parts of the code to basically make it way more better than how a large language model would output the code. And this is the capability of MicroAgent. This is where we're going to be showcasing this framework, showcasing how you can get started and so much more. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Now, before we get started, I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants. And this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses, as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. Started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. So let's get started. First things first, we're going to mention the differentiating factor between typical AI tools versus microagent. Now, we know that finding new ways to make work easier is always great. We have various tools like GitHub Copilot as well as ChatGPT, and it could be used to help generate code from plain English description. This is where the typical AI tools are used to generate code. However, these tools tend to often produce code that doesn't actually work correctly right away. It might look good initially, but when you're actually running the code in a coding program, there might be a couple of bugs, edge cases, or even references to non-existing APIs that are often not found. This is where we can see that it generates the code. The code tends to work sometimes initially, which is where the task is completed. But then if it doesn't, then there's also a user problem. This leads to a frustrating cycle of testing the code finding issues, asking the AI to fix it, and then repeating this whole cycle. Now, the time spent debugging can negate the time saved by utilizing the AI tools, which is why MicroAgent was something that was developed. It's a new open source tool that was actually created to address this issue. It's going to aim to provide the benefits of AI-assisted coding while reducing the problems of unreliable code generation. This is where it's going to generate different tests, it's going to generate the code, going to test the code until it passes and if it doesn't it'll then send it back in the cycle to make sure that the code is fully functional there's different apis that are existent and it's going to reference different online cases of code that are 
basically functional. And from here, it's going to then complete the task. So how does this function? Well, microagent focuses on AI specific tasks and it provides a clear feedback using these different tasks. We first see that it starts off by describing your function where you give it a natural language description on what you want it to create. There's AI generated tests where the microagent is going to create unit tests with inputs and outputs. And these examples are based on your description. So it's going to be doing this within this step over here. The AI is also going to write the code for you where it's going to generate in languages like JavaScript, TypeScript, or even Python to pass your test. And if it's passed, it's going to then complete the task for you. But you can see that there is an automatic iteration. If tests keep failing, the micro agent is going to keep on editing the code and rerunning the test until it passes and completes the task. This is a method that's going to ensure that the generated code is going to meet your requirement and it's going to improve the overall quality of the code. And this is by automating the debugging process. Now over here, there's a 30 second demo of micro agent that's going to generate tests and code for a TypeScript function that groups different types of anagrams together from an array of strings, which you can see over here. And it's something that is going to keep on continuously iterating until it passes the test. So you can see that it's going to ask you questions on what sort of things that are required from your end. You just simply ask it and then it's going to focus on automatically iterating on it. And we can see that at the end, the task is completed for you. And the great thing is that you can actually integrate this with a visual copilot that Builder IO has released. This visual copilot can take any design from Figma and convert it into production ready code with an AI powered code generation that is going to reuse existing components such as CSS variables. So this is a great way for you to get a fully coded out UI with the help of this framework that is going to keep on utilizing this continuous iteration process to get the code that is required. And this is a great way for you to actually build out and fully code out different types of applications, games, various sorts of things of that sort. And this is why this framework could be very useful in various ways because of the automatic iteration process that it has basically implemented. So you may be wondering, how can you get started? Well, first things first, you need to make sure that you have Node.js version 14 or later. You need to make sure that you have NPM installed as well as Python. You also need to make sure that you have a functional LLM API key. What I recommend using is the Claude Anthropic Sonnet 3.5 model because that's the best model at its current moment. You can also use GPT-4 Omni, but this is something that is going to be used for like basically your own practical use case. You know which model works best for your code. Utilize that model for that particular use case. But in my opinion, for general use purposes, the Claude model is going to be the best one. So what you want to do first is install the micro agent framework globally on your computer. So you can open up command prompt, paste this command in where you're going to start installing the micro agent framework onto your computer. This will take a couple of minutes to a couple of seconds, depending on your computer. And once it has finished installing, what we're going to be doing next is setting our API key. So what I recommend doing in the meantime is getting your API key, setting your model, and you can just simply set this by just copying this command. And if you are on Windows, you would then paste in the set command. But if you are on, uh, I would say Mac OS, you would then place in the export command. So set your API key by pasting in these two commands, and then you can then move forward with the next step. So I went along and set my API key. And once you have done so, it will then state config updated. Now, what we can do next is just simply paste in this command into this framework or the command prompt, and we're going to be able to start up the framework quite easily. So you can see right now, what would you like to do? A function that blah, blah, blah. You can start typing in what you would want to do, and you can basically have it generate or focus on fixing that code. You can also have it so that it connects a code base to this framework so that you can iterate on your overall framework way easier. And that's about it for microagent. There's more to this, so I definitely recommend that you try it out because you're definitely going to be able to see how it functions based off of your own code, as well as the large language model you use within this framework. So I definitely recommend that you try this out. I also will leave a link to all the links that I use in today's video in the description below so that you can get more information about this framework. But that's about it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. It's a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. Make sure you check out the Patreon page because this is a great way for you to access different AI subscriptions that are given to you 
completely for free so definitely check this out and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys really shortly peace out fellas